Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day so if there's something in particular that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to do it a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys have done we're very very grateful and we appreciate the effort i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this they suggested i react to what if i can't do Islam 100% seems interesting and I'm eager to see what the video is all about so without wasting time let's get into the video check this out welcome back to the mailbag here on the Dean show I'm Yusuf Estes and want to jump right into this one this is an interesting one and a common one as well when a person reaches the <laughs> reaches the point where they say well the evidence is overwhelming and it seems to me that Islam is the truth I can't really come up with anything else it looks like it's the only way to really understand the concept of God and the proper way to reach him or worship him but, and there's always a but, isn't there? Otherwise, you wouldn't write the letter. You'd just go ahead and enter a slam. But, he said, I have a habit of, over my life of chasing women, drinking alcohol, and various and other sundry things that he details here we don't need to go into. But in any case, he said, what if I went to Islam, which seems right to me, but at the same time, what if I can't hang on? What if I fail? What if I fall out of Islam? What if I go back to the evil that I used to do? What if I can't do all the praying and the fasting and the things that Islam calls for? I don't, maybe I don't want to grow my beard or in, in the case of one of the sisters, a uh, lady, she asked that, what if I can't wear that cover on my head, things like this? And then they would consider me an apostate and then would they kill me? And I'm going to tell you, I don't mean to laugh because I know that it's a serious question, but the reason I'm chuckling is because I went through the same thing myself. When I came into Islam, I said, wait a minute, guys, I don't know this. You guys are praying five times every day. What if I forgot to pray? You know what would happen then? Or, and you're talking about fasting. You're talking about not eating, not drinking, not enjoying some of the things I take for granted every day. You want me to give that up for a whole month out of every year? Uh, it's not that I don't really want to. It's that what if I can't or what if I forget you know it, it might be too much for me and so and I also had heard that if you left Islam they'd chop your head off <laughs> I'm not, it was not funny it was not funny when I uh, heard it then but it's funny now because I know good and well it's not true but you know at the time you know I was hearing all these things there were people all around me trying to tell me you oh, stay away from the Muslims you're gonna get a demon stay away from these Muslims because they're gonna mess you up they're gonna do stuff to you and blah 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 terrorism acts of you know suicide bombers all the rest of it let me just put it real simple for you it's very simple if you really believe there's one God and he has no partners and you're willing to worship him on his terms and you're really taking even the first step then you have already entered upon the brink of Islam itself whether you know anything about the Arabia the Arabic language or the Quran or the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him whether or not you have any knowledge of all of the subjects that people talk about or even establish the first prayer or even fast the first day of Ramadan. The fact that you believe and you're trying your best indicates immediately you're progressing toward true Islam. You want to continue in that way as much as you can at your own pace, going step by step. Don't worry about the other people around you. This is not a race between you and the people. This is something where you are making your own contact, your own hookup, connection with the Lord above. Let him guide you and then you move forward at a pace that you can handle 
And if you do fall back, if you do slip, know that he forgives. He says that he can forgive anything, anything at all, except that you worship other than him, that you establish some kind of partners with him that is not there. So keep that in mind and then do this. Go in your heart and pray and say, Oh Lord, I know that you exist and I know you created me and I want you to give me the best for me. Guide me. Guide me to the truth. And if there is a God, then for sure he'll know and he'll take care of you. It's up to him. He's the only one that guides. He says in the Quran, you don't guide those whom you love, but it's the Lord above who guides to this straight path, whoever he wills. With that, we'll turn you back over to the Dean Show. And until next time, peace. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. I really love him and the way he answers things. This is someone reminding us that we don't have to do something at someone else's pace. Just because everyone is moving fast doesn't mean you have to move fast. Take your time. Take things in as they come so that you can understand them as you progress. A step a day is progress. Two steps is still progress. Ten steps is progress. You're going to reach your goal with time don't rush don't feel bad that you're behind just take your time to just be real with yourself and be real with whatever you believe in otherwise this was very very good advice and a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video